Master Ryan, the Roving Giant here. We are in for another fun episode today. We are in Adirondacks at the Faro Lake Wilderness Area. And as you can see, we are on this road to Crane Pond, Faro Mountain, or to uh, Goose Pond. And yeah, we're gonna spend two nights in the woods, do a little fishing, maybe do a little bit of hiking. We'll see what happens. Uh, take it as you go, looking to just do a little bit of relaxing. Why don't you come along? Roll that new cool intro. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Pastor Ryan, the roving giant. We are on the Finger Lakes Trails, taking on the Northville Lake Classic Trail. We are at Loon Mountain. Let's do some exploring. up here I met a guy from Albany who was over fishing on Crane Pond and he offered to help carry my canoe into the campsite pretty cool I had, I had originally thought I was gonna be um, portaging this canoe and all my stuff uh, a mile and a half like from the original parking spot all the way into Goose Pond I got to cut off 0.9 miles worth from just driving on this cool but challenging road. My truck was fortunately high enough, I never bottomed out on it. I would not take a car or minivan or anything like that on this. Um, and then I got 0.6 miles left to go to Goose Lake, but hey, he's offering to help, so I appreciate the help. I'll introduce it to him. just headed back he might even join me for a hike tomorrow and he offered to help me carry the canoe back out on Friday just kind people it's pretty cool um, and uh, yeah I'm hiking over along this trail to one of the campsites here on crane not crane I'm on goose pond yeah goose pond and yeah I'll set my stuff down and then I'm thinking I want to get out in that water, get fishing, see if there ain't any any uh, trout that we could have for dinner. But we'll see. I'm also going to try to stay pretty calm, like uh, quiet, because there's another guy on the other side of the pond. So I want to be respectful of the space. Pond, Goose Pond. Let's see if we can catch any fish. No luck yet, but the clouds behind me don't exactly look super friendly, so I'm going to make it back to camp and get my hammock and tarp set up and get dinner going and settle in for the night. Uh, yeah, I'll see what, see what the evening brings us. I can't tell if it's going to rain or not or if it's just that the clouds look dark because of the shadows with sunset happening, but man, it's peaceful out here.
so I'm just getting dinner going and uh, I noticed look how beautiful the colors are up on the mountain there it's just the reds and the sun is setting over there man it is really it's beautiful here it's quiet I'm seeing little I don't know if it's fish jumping or frogs jumping or what but I'm gonna have to throw a line in while I eat well tonight it's chili mac with beef and uh, yeah that's about it but um, yeah it's been a nice start to the trip uh, no fish yet but I got to hear the loons I got to do a little paddling met a new friend um, I'm feeling this is gonna be a quiet trip and I hope it stays that way it's it's nice and peaceful out here so um, I'm gonna go to bed and we'll see you in the morning but thanks for coming along so far and we'll see what tomorrow brings us good morning everybody it was a nice night quiet peaceful and uh, I think before I try to start anything off this morning I'm gonna go out fishing for the man look at this favorite parts of the Adirondacks is the loons. Did you hear that? caught anything yet but it's a real peaceful morning I'm really enjoying this just being out on the water uh, I'm really grateful to Todd he uh, let me borrow his canoe uh, saved me about <clears throat> saved me about 20 pounds on carrying in um, and turns out Jerry was there to carry it for me so <laughs> that, that was pretty cool I, I feel like I've gotten a lot of people helping me out on this trip. It's been nice. Um, yeah, so I was, uh, I was thinking that uh, I wanted to touch base about a few things. Um, one, give the update on what's happening with our kid. Um, it's a girl. We're really excited that we're having a baby girl. And uh, yeah, my wife is doing well. All is healthy, all is good. Um, all her uh, aches and pains are normal pregnancy stuff. As, as our doctor says, you're pregnant, you're not broken. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a wonderful experience so far and I am just, I'm just so excited to meet my little girl. <sighs> it's gonna be great. Um, this trip is kind of going to be my last big one before she comes. I do look forward to taking her out on trips when she grows up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, uh, most of my time lately has been spent working on my house. I had to do a bunch of demolition and construction at the house to get ready, to make the nursery ready, to move where our bedroom is and stuff like that. But... Uh, it's it, it's been hard work it's been constant every day after work every weekend that I get I'm doing that so that takes away from the camping trips but totally worth it as you other parents probably already know um, that being said this weekend opened up and I was talking with Casey and she was just like go out take a trip you need a trip so I Came out and did this. I'm grateful to have a wife who understands. Heck, she really understands. She's been out winter camping a couple times, <laughs> as you guys have seen. Um, but yeah, it's uh, 
time of transition. So I'll have a lot to learn. I get to be a, a newbie at something for a while, which I like learning new things. Keeps in that whole stay curious mindset. I'm able to not assume I know what my daughter is going to be thinking or needing and I'm gonna have to learn everything along the way. Um, but you know, the other thing I'm th I've been thinking about is just uh, feeling appreciative of the encouragement and support of other people. Um, I mean, I've gotten messages from <laughs> from youth group teens who tell me that I'm going to be a good dad, and I uh, I get messages from you guys on YouTube just encouraging me, and man. I just appreciate that. It fills me right up. I, I was I was thinking uh, about just how cool it is to have an online community of people who all seem to enjoy this stuff. And I don't know. I find that most people who enjoy being outside tend to be kind people. Um, I uh, I've been watching a few different YouTube channels, and one that you guys have got to check out because he's awesome. He's a good guy. Uh, is Adirondack. Adirondacks Woodwalker, Adirondack Woodwalker, Woods Walker. Man, I'm gonna get that straight. Adirondack Woods Walker. <laughs> um, he, I'm just so impressed with what he's doing. He's got a channel about, about the same size as mine, a little bit bigger than mine, but he uh, committed to pumping out one video a week. It's like a New Year's resolution or something. And man, that just impresses me because I struggle to get one out a month and feel like I don't have enough time to do it all. So I, you know, more power to you, man, keep it up. And he's gonna be trying the Northville Placid Trail like I did. Um, and you guys have got to follow him. He got, he's got great videos, great content. He checks out all over the Adirondacks. So this kind of stuff, that's all over his videos. So you have got to check out Adirondack Woods Walker. Um, I, I'm, I'm appreciative of the collaboration. He pointed some people to my channel, so I want to point some people over to his channel for sure. Um, but there's a couple other ones too that you, you guys have got to check out. Um, you remember the Corys from my Loon Mountain uh, trip. The Corys have been on the AT all year. Uh, they the last report I heard, they were within 200 miles. So they, by the time I finish this trip, they might actually be done, um, which is just super exciting. They've done a great job. They've made it all the way. They made it past their home in New Hampshire. They they were in Maine the last I heard, heading into the, uh, I think the 100 mile wilderness area. And uh, yeah, you gotta check out them. Their Their channel is a mile in their shoes mile in their shoes. Uh, they've been raising money for Soul Hope in Uganda. So you can check out the link here. Um, but if you feel so led, <laughs> be sure to donate to Soul Hope and help them. They're helping so that kids in Uganda can have shoes so that they don't get chiggers in their feet. And they've been trying to think of these kids the whole time that they've been hiking AT, which is just super exciting. Check out their video, it's inspiring. I, I'm just so impressed that a family of five with young kids is able to hike it. And Jesse, their youngest, is a riot. Abishay and Hattie are just rock stars. They just crush it. I, I don't know, you guys gotta check them out. It's exciting. It's I, I want other people's channels to do well because this is fun. and. It's exciting when people support you and comment and, and let you know what's going on. You know, speaking of that, if you guys are watching this and you feel like, hey, I like this video, this is fun, I like the kind of stuff that he makes, be sure to subscribe. When I see a new subscriber pop up on my list, it's just like the most encouraging thing to me. It's like, whoa, people actually want to watch this, it's so cool. So, um, if you, Thought it was a fish, not a fish. Yeah, so, hey, let's keep fishing. Uh, I I think that Jerry was talking about coming back um, this afternoon, possibly. Maybe uh, joining me for a hike up Faro Mountain, which is the one that you see behind me between the trees. Yeah, well, we'll fish a little bit longer and then go have some coffee and breakfast. Mm -hmm.
brother got me it's this little arrow press it's like a french press type of thing you set it right on top of your uh, mug and press the coffee down um yeah check it out see how it comes out So I've finished up breakfast and coffee and Jerry has made it here. Say hi, Jerry. Hi, folks. Uh, and we are going to go hike Faro Mountain. We're going to head out to the truck and drive over to the trailhead and from there hike our way up. So come along. <music> made it down the road it's a real rough road you're gonna want to if you're coming to check out this this area you're gonna want to be in a pickup or something or a Jeep or something that has a bit of lift because the, it's less an issue of the mud and the water and more an issue of the the bumps and it's it'd be very easy to bottom out I mean I see somebody came in that but I guarantee you they scraped the bottom of their car on something on their way through. So you'll want to just be careful on your way through. Take it easy, take it slow. And when you go through the swamp, this was Jerry's uh, tip, was when you go through that really long section of water, you're going to want to stay right in the middle because if you go off the sides, it's just muck and you're going to sink, sink right down. But yeah, nothing to stop you from coming on back through before we hike uh, Faro Mountain. Jerry's bringing me over to check out the uh, a campsite here on uh, Crane Pond because he said it's got a really nice view of it. So I'll make sure to show you guys once we get there. All right, we made it to the spot. You can still see Faro Mountain up there, and there's a big spot over that way. But this spot's nice and clear. This would be a beautiful spot to hang out. And he said during the spring. They would catch lake trout right off this rock right here. So that's pretty cool. Before the they go way deep. Nowadays they're way out in the middle, way down at the bottom. <laughs> Don't give away all my secrets, Ryan. <laughs> Tell me your channel. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's Justin from Kane Broderick on YouTube. C-A-I-N-E Broderick. Cool. Go check him out. Going to Farrell Mountain, 2.9 miles. Trails goes this way by the log that's down. 
Here we go. register booth and on the trail. Well, there's our goal right up there. Got just 2.3 miles to go. So we haven't really gone that far yet, but we'll get there. <laughs> making our way up. It's been a, a doozy of a climb. It is indeed an Adirondack mountain. <laughs> uh, it's always one of those ones where you come around the corner and just more uphill to go, but uh, like these mountains tend to be, it's this tunnel of rock and dense trees and you can't see anything and you it's hard to tell how far you've gone, unlike out west where you can see forever the whole way. But then once you get all the way to the top, it's like, oh, that's where we've been hiking all this time. This is cool. So we're, we're ready for the top to show up any time now. <laughs> Everybody, the summit of Faro Faro Mountain. Jerry's a little behind me. He stopped at a couple spots I didn't stop at just to be able to take pictures. And you gotta make sure to check out Jerry's stuff. He posts his pictures up on uh, um, Shutterstock. So if you're looking for stock images and stuff, he makes really cool pictures um, from just time spent up here in the Adirondacks and different places. So if you're looking for any stock pictures, look for Jerry's stock pictures. Um, My campsite is straight down there. We'll see if I can see it on the recording. I can kind of see my orange fly, tarp fly from there. Straight ahead. That's the high peaks, man. That is the high peaks of the Adirondacks. All right, we just finished hanging out here on the top and uh, we're gonna check out the other side to see if there's any views down to like Lake George and uh, some of the more southern areas. We've been looking towards the Northwest. So we'll see if there's anything up here. Hmm. Well, we checked it out. There wasn't much of a view out on the other side. You could kind of see Faro Lake through the trees, but yeah, I think that's the that's the exploration of the summit. Unless there's another trail heading over this way. Let's check that out. Yeah, let's check that out. Kind of obstructed. Ooh, maybe over here though. Oh, I think we might have found it. I think so. They don't. They not the best ones never do. Yeah, check that out. 
That's a good view right there. So here we're looking uh, the Green Mountains way off there. Way, that's the farthest away uh, across the Champlain Basin. So you can kind of see Lake Champlain right over there. Um, Jerry, what'd you say the name of the mountain was that you hike over here? Treadway. Treadway. So this must be Treadway Mountain right here. There's a rocky clearing on top. And the other side of Treadway Mountain is Putnam Pond. And that's where Jerry has spent a, a good amount of time exploring. Yeah, you can still kind of see the high peaks over there, but now we're looking, we're essentially looking east here. Nice view up here. Glad we found another uh, vantage point. <sighs> Nothing quite like an Adirondack wild blueberry. Mm. Well, we finished uh, trying to fill ourselves up on blueberries. <laughs> Enjoyed the view. Now we are going to actually head downhill. So here we go. So we were just about to head straight down. We noticed one more trail and found summit markers. So now we've officially been to the top of uh, Faro Mountain. Hooray for summit markers. Making you feel like you actually did it. It is official. So I did notice that over by the other spot that we were at, the first spot, there's a campsite. And so you can camp up here. Most of the spots, there's a little sign that says no camping, but there was one spot that there was like camping allowed in this spot. So you can camp on top of the mountain. Okay. That'd be pretty cool. Want to carry all your water up, but. Made it back from the hike, survived the way down, no broken nothing, <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna hop in the truck and make our way back around. It's been fun so far. Well, just dropped Jerry off at his truck, uh, and I'm heading back to park over at Goose Pond to enjoy the rest of the evening and have a little dinner, do a little bit more fishing. I think I might even go for a swim. I think it's a good swimming day after that long hike and getting all sweaty. I'll sleep better after swimming. But yeah, um, Jerry was in, in another act of kindness. He keeps doing nice things for me. Another act of kindness. He gave me a couple of pieces of fresh fruit and uh, a uh, cup full of worms for me to go fishing with. So I'm. I'm pretty excited for fishing. Hopefully the worms make a difference because I wasn't catching anything the other way. Well, I'm gonna keep paying attention to this road. We'll catch you up, up at camp. I'm on the trail back in towards uh, Goose Pond. Got my worms. Thank you, Jerry. And uh, yeah, that uh, Faro Mountain hike, I don't think I would have gone for it if I hadn't had uh, been able to drive to the base and drive into this spot if I were going all the way from camp all the way to there. I'm really glad. I'm just, I'm praising God that things have panned out well uh, for me to be able to do that and to make it, uh, make it up that mountain because that was a really fun hike. It was challenging, but it, it was an Adirondack mountain. That's what they are. They're challenging. Um, and I enjoyed it. And man, the views on the top of that are just spectacular. You could see all the high peaks and uh, that's, that's the way it should be. That's a nice size mountain. Uh, I would do that one again in a heartbeat. Not today, but <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, this has been a nice trip. I was actually uh, uh, a little bit worried that this trip wouldn't pan out well because I didn't plan a ton for it. Um, but yeah, it's turned out really good so far. 
The only real mistake that I feel like I made so far is uh, my alcohol stove. I didn't really check it before I came and it just was not burning super efficiently. You saw that some alcohol was leaking out the bottom and it was um, just burning like crazy. I mean, there was just flames everywhere. Uh, so it burned through alcohol at a crazy rapid rate, way more than it normally would have. So I'm, I have pretty much enough alcohol left in my uh, bottle for a cup of coffee tomorrow morning. That's about it. So dinner tonight is going to have to be a uh, campfire instead of on the alcohol stove. Um, so that's, I don't know if that's a, a flaw in the design of the stove or if that's just because, um, I don't know. I should have put alcohol in it different. If any of you know, just leave it in the comments below. That'd be helpful for me. But besides that, things have gone really well. Yeah, off to camp. All right, I think this water is looking super appealing. It's time for a swim. Well, that was super fun, but on my first jump in, I lost the base of my gorilla pod. Check this out, right there. Yeah, so uh, fortunately it floats, but I'm guessing it's somewhere out there. So yeah, we're gonna go paddle around and look for it while I fish a little bit. See if I can't catch dinner and the bottom of my gorilla pod. Well, I'm out here paddling. It's beautiful paddling weather, but um, yeah, I've given up hope on finding that little piece of my gorilla pod. <laughs> it must have floated away somewhere. I spent probably about 15 minutes looking for it before realizing that it floated. So it must have floated off and I paddled all around, but no sign of it. Uh, oh well, I feel bad that I, I've littered but I can't find it, I'm trying. <laughs> I promise I'm trying. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm just paddling around now. I got the lake clear wobbler with a worm going, trying to go nice and easy, cause it's a small wobbler. But honestly, this water is like bath water. It is so warm. So I'm I'm doubtful that I'll be able to get any, any trout uh, in this lake because they're all in colder water. So they've all gone so deep that I can't reach them. That's at least my estimation, but I hold on to hope. Who knows? Maybe one of them will surprise me. No luck fishing. Let's go find some firewood for dinner. Dinner is uh, chicken teriyaki and 
yeah, oh, looks like I got a oh, schmutz on my, on my, on my face. Uh, yeah, just uh, filtered some water and enjoying a little campfire action. Yeah, um, it's been a good day, a nice hike. Uh, gonna enjoy a little bit of dinner and settle in for the night. If there's anything interesting, I'll show you, but otherwise, good night, and we'll see you in the morning. Buddy, I uh, just got up, getting some water on the boil, make myself some coffee, see if I can't make breakfast and coffee, that would be a score, but yeah, it was a, a stormy night last night, it's still stormy a little bit, you hear the thunder, the thunder rolling, but um, yeah, it's uh Stay dry, dry as bone. That's the goal, right? Yeah, there's some thunder. Um, so I'm gonna get this get this breakfast made and and see what uh, what comes of the remainder of the morning. Um, I'll probably try to pack up and get back to the truck pretty quick. See if I can avoid the next round of rain. See what happens. beat me so uh yeah that's lightning um i'm gonna just sit here and enjoy my coffee take my time having my uh food for the morning i think i might have some ramen noodle soup <laughs> and see if this storm will pass man this is a doozy and if it doesn't pass we're walking out in the rain if it does pass then score but I'll take my time since it doesn't seem to be going anywhere for the time being. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is super cool. <laughs> it's really fun to be out here in the middle of this storm. It's like the lightning and the thunder and the rain's just coming down. It's just, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. You should try it sometime. Just don't get hit by lightning. Well, well, the rain has really started to let up. Um, I don't know, my favorite part of uh, a rainstorm is just after. We can see all that mist coming off the trees. You can see it over there too. I don't know, I think that's pretty sweet. I don't really want to go. <laughs> Thank you. 
everybody. That's a wrap on this uh, on this site. Let's go uh, carry that canoe out. It's going to be quite a quite a portage for me to try to pull off in a single carry, but let's see how it goes. I think we can do it. First, I'm curious about how it's going to sit on the pack here, but yeah, man, this has been a great trip. I'm <laughs> pleasantly surprised. I actually didn't think it would be as good as it was. That's the goal, right? Lower expectations equals more uh, satisfaction. <sighs> cool. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to have to come back to this spot. umbrella is pretty cool or <laughs> I say umbrella the canoe is acting like an umbrella which helps me out I think the hardest part is because this is a 17 foot canoe it's not so much the weight of the canoe it's actually relatively light it's about 45 50 pounds somewhere in that ballpark but I just need to be aware of where the front and the end is because I don't want to ding it up. This is Todd's canoe. I want to treat it well. Show you guys the trail. I think this canoe is getting heavier. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> oh man. Oh doggy. I'm feeling it. We're making it though. Little by little. the time. All right, we're back. Not that one. That one fell out. Made it. Huzzah! Whew. Ah, here's the truck. All signed out. I'd say that means this trip is officially over. Thanks for coming along for the ride, everybody. And until next time, stay curious. <laughs> <laughs>